Welcome to the final session of the Sacred Us. Come on, give somebody a high five in your group. You made it. You made it to the end. Now, I hope this isn't the end of your group. Every group looks a little different when we finish this curriculum together. Maybe your group's going to continue on. Maybe your group's going to take a little break. I encourage you, make sure you talk about that today. Make sure you talk about what's next for your group because we didn't go through all this together just to say goodbye, right? We went through all this together so that we could launch into a whole new way of living. And so we wrapped up the book today and you'll notice that we're on page 20, group meeting nine, our final group meeting of the Sacred Us curriculum. And we're talking about boundaries, right? Boundaries, how boundaries sustain growth. Now, I think that sometimes, if we're honest, we use boundaries as an excuse, right? I've got boundaries, don't come into my life, don't mess me up. And I think that over the last eight weeks, God has maybe been stretching our boundaries because I think some of us had boundaries in the wrong place, right? But on the flip side, having boundaries is important. It's important for us to have healthy boundaries and not to use those boundaries as an excuse to avoid vulnerability, but to use those boundaries as an opportunity to sustain growth. And we look at the passage in uh, Paul's letter to Timothy about the important part of carrying one another's burdens, right? And this occurs multiple times in the Bible. This is also in Galatians, right? This idea of carrying one another's burdens in Galatians 6, where he says that this is how we fulfill the law of Christ, Paul tells us, right? He says, you've got to carry one another's burdens to fulfill the law of Christ. Now, what does that mean, right? And then he tells us in a few minutes later that each one must carry their own load. Now, we explore this in the chapter, the idea that you have both burdens that are too heavy for you to carry, that you need help from your brother, but you also have a load or cargo that only you can carry things that you're responsible for that you can't give off to your brother, right? And so when we try to pass off our cargo to somebody else, it becomes dysfunctional and it ends up creating a codependent relationship. But when we bear one another's burdens, it becomes life-giving and it creates an interdependent relationship. And so this is how we establish healthy boundaries so that we can trust one another, go deeper with one another, but also be held accountable to actually carry what God's called us to carry. And so as we explore healthy boundaries together, I think God's going to help you bring some clarity as to how to not enable others, but instead empower others and strengthen one another in this journey of spiritual maturity. I'm going to pray for you. And as you wrap up this conversation around boundaries, make sure you talk about, hey, what's the application of what we've learned over these last number of weeks and where are we going to go next in our journey together to grow in Jesus. God, I thank you for this group. I thank you that for nine weeks you've been with us, talking to us, walking with us, stretching us and growing us. I pray in the name of Jesus that you would uh, challenge and encourage this group today. As we conclude the sacred us, I pray that you'd inspire us to a different way of living, a different way of doing community, and God, that it would take us to that new level that you've been calling us to. I pray your blessing in Jesus' name.